It's that time of year again. It's winter. And your power may go out and you might decide that you might want to use a space heater. But here's the thing. Space heaters take a lot of power. It takes a lot, of, a lot for your EcoFlow unit to power one. Especially a big one like the one you see here. Let's see what, what, how much power it really does take and how EcoFlow can still handle the load. At least for a little while. This is the top of this is the top of the space heater. We're about to turn it on. 750 watts. And at 750 watts, you can see it's pulling 586 watts out of the unit. And it only lasts for one hour with the pull with this load. Now, now let's turn it up to 100 or 1500 watts. There we are at 1000 watts. Well, now we put it up to 1000 watts, but it's only pulling about 604 watts, so you know, it's going to last about an hour at that level, too. It's cold outside. Running space heaters it takes a lot of energy. Generating heat takes a lot of energy. But EcoFlow can handle it, but not for a whole long time. It's only about an hour at this rate. So whether it's 750 watts or a 1000 watt heater, the EcoFlow unit can handle it. So if you need heat in the winter, you can do this. As a point, as a point of reference, try to plug your space heaters directly into the EcoFlow unit or into a proper extension cord, such as a uh, 10 or 12 gauge cord, because otherwise your cords are going to heat up. Well that does it for this episode of EcoFlow Power for Living. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you next time.